All right, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can create a standalone course and a standalone course bundle inside of High Level without any community involved whatsoever. So this would be if you just wanted to sell courses or use the course environment inside of High Level uh, to deliver your content in some way, maybe some bonuses, maybe some client information or a learning environment for certification, whatever it might be, I'm gonna show you how to set that up. We're gonna get started by setting up a course. So we'll navigate to memberships, courses. If you have not yet set up your client portal, I'll link a video in the description as well as in the upper right hand corner for you to go watch that video. Uh, so we're going to focus on the courses. We're going to go to course, we're going to go to products. And when you're creating a course, the structure of creating the lessons and the modules that is considered under courses to be a product. So it's a course product. We're going to click create product and we're going to start from scratch. You can choose one of these different uh, pre-built kind of like templates for a course. Um, we'll just select one right now just to help us create our product quickly. But in most cases, you're going to be building your own and starting from scratch. So you can see here, this just gave us a little bit of placeholders like welcome aboard, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then the ability to have a certificate that's just pre-built into this template. If you're building yours from scratch, you would choose what goes here. When you're ready to sell your course, whether it's a standalone one, like we're gonna do in this video or part of a community, Regardless, you have to create your offer. So we're going to go into offers. We're going to click new offer. We'll give our quote unquote offer a title. I'll call this my standalone course. I should probably change the name of that sprint course that I created. I'll set this as a one-time fee of $500 and I'll leave it in test mode. I'll go ahead and click create. Now this is the screen where I'm customizing my offer. You can have multiple offers per individual course content. So for example, I could create an offer to sell my standalone course for 500. I could create another offer to sell my standalone course for 300. The whole point is you can create different offers and utilize those to sell the product throughout your funnels, your webinars, your communities, your whatever it might be. And I'm going to rename this offer just for clarity for us. I'm going to call this my standalone course offer over on the right hand side. You can edit the pricing. This is where you would come if you wanted to change the, this particular offer to be free one time or a recurring model. The recurring subscription model is interesting because you can choose the recurring model is pretty, pretty well fleshed out. You can choose the billing period. So if I wanted this to be a yearly renewal on my course, I could, I could put trial days. I could do a setup fee. So for example, I could do a setup fee of 500 and then I could have it bill yearly for $50 to stay in the course. And I could also give people a 10 day trial period where they could try it out. So I really like that this gives you all of that flexibility. You could also turn this into a payment plan by simply adding a number of payments. Pretty easy to do there. I'll leave mine as a one-time fee though for simplicity and I'll hit save. Scrolling down, this is where you can revoke access to a course offer. Let's say that regardless of whenever somebody purchased the product, I didn't want my product to launch until let's say the 30th of June. This would be a great way to pre-sell your course. So if you knew you were launching your course maybe at the end of the summer and you wanted to run a promotion all summer long using a offer for your promotion offer, you could do that. Perhaps $500 is the promotional offer price. And when it comes out on the 30th or the end of the summer, I could upgrade this price to like $1,000. So to give people an early bird uh, opportunity, I could create an early bird standalone offer. I think that's pretty good as well. The other side of this offer access is the ability to restrict how long they can get access for. Perhaps you want someone to buy your course, but then only get access for a year, but you don't want it to be a subscription. For whatever reason, you may say, I only want to give somebody access for 365 days, and then they have to come back and buy it again. While subscriptions might be the most popular option, this is definitely more popular than I ever thought it was. I've had people ask me how to do this in other tools, and there really hasn't been a great solution without a lot of different automation. Uh, here, it's just a checkbox and you type in how long. Now that our offer is published and we're ready to go, there are a couple different ways that we can sell it. Built into each offer is a mini checkout page. It reminds me a lot of Kajabi. So if you've ever seen Kajabi's course checkout pages, it's very, very similar. But we also get the opportunity here to put in a description. I'm gonna go copy a description really quick so that we can have something. All right, I pasted in a description of, an, of another product so that I have it here. Um, I'll hit save again. Now let's go ahead and now let's go ahead and preview this offer. Now by hitting preview, what I'm loading is that standalone checkout page. Again, it's very similar to Kajabi. And then I can hit proceed to checkout. When I proceed to checkout, I get this nice little modal. I personally wish it was a little bit wider, but here it is. You can enter in all your Stripe information and then just hit confirm payment. Very, very straightforward, very, very set up to automatically handle all of the automations so that when somebody buys the offer, they get the course. That's all there is to it. 
Now, if I want to edit the way that checkout looks, I have a few different options to do so. I can click this edit checkout button in the top right. And from here, I'll get to customize a few things. The first one is the banner. I went ahead and I uploaded a random image that I found in my image files and it looked good enough for a locked thing, right? Um, so I uploaded this and you can see if the banner height is set at 150, this image, you're only seeing the very, very top of it. So you're going to want to upload a banner that looks really good if it were narrow. And you can change the height of that. Like for example, if I wanted this to be 300, I could do so and then I could come back up and hit save and now the banner is taller. But you can see here, this image is just all the wrong aspect ratio. So I'd recommend that you don't use an image that isn't very wide and narrow. I'll go ahead and remove that banner, make it even simpler, but I also have the option to add a video. And this is going to actually upload directly to high level. I'm gonna upload a very blank and basic video here so that I have it uploaded. I'm gonna hit save. And now you can see a video, kind of like a video sales letter is added right to the top. You can also add a logo image. Something I realized is that I turned off my banner. So if I enable my banner here and hit save, now my logo appears overlaid on top of uh, my banner. Not a huge fan of that personally, so I'd probably just delete, disable it, keep it very simple like this. If we go to preview our page here, uh, this is what it looks like. So just real quick to talk about these checkout pages, had you asked me maybe six months ago or even a few months ago, I might have said, oh, this page is way too simple. It's way too basic. I would never use this. But I've noticed a big trend in the last month or so. Uh, it's been going on longer, but I've just become aware of it and I've become more tuned into it. And it makes sense, this trend that things are getting simpler on the selling side. People aren't shopping for courses anymore. They aren't going out and saying, let me look at a long form sales page and be convinced to buy your course. That's speaking in absolutes, but I think generally speaking, because the landscape is changing and information is being so much commoditized and info is a commodity now, right? With AI, that people are only gonna buy from people they know, like, and trust times 10. And so for myself, I noticed that YouTube is my top of funnel. People typically know who I am before they land on my sales page. They trust me already. When they go to my sales page, I don't have to convince them to buy. They're going to buy it or they're not. So a simple checkout page like this one, I feel like this is totally fine for you to use. You can put your message here. You can tell them what they're going to get. You can provide the checkout with a nice video uh, letter here at the top. I think that's really all that you need. However, this is not the only way to sell an offer inside of high level. That's actually what makes high level so complex a lot of the time is that they give us all these different options and it's up to us to make the decisions. I know that decisions fatigue people and they can cause decision paralysis. That's what I'm trying to alleviate with this video. So this was method one, simple to the point, it will work just fine. If you purchase through the standalone course offer, you can then click view dashboard. It'll bring you in right to your library and there's no automation needed. You bought access to the course, you can now access the course and you're in. Option number two, create a funnel. So under sites, funnels, I'm gonna walk you through quickly on creating a funnel. I will go into more detail on funnels in other videos. For now, I'm just going to show you the basics to get it set up. We're going to click new funnel. We'll give our funnel a name. I'll call this my standalone course funnel. I'll click create. And now I need to add a step. You have choices here. You can build a full funnel with a sales page, maybe a middle page, a checkout page. You can go as crazy as you want to. I'm just going to show you how to set up at this point the checkout page, and then it's up to you to customize it. In another video that I did, I showed how to create a webinar funnel, and I went into much more detail. I'll also link that one as well down below in the description for you to watch, or maybe I'll put it in the upper right hand corner as well. I go into much more detail on the funnel building process itself. But for here, we'll name our page, we'll call it our standalone course checkout. Click create funnel step. Now that we have a checkout page, we're going to add a product to it. If this was a sales page, for example, if I created a step called my standalone course sales page, and I created a funnel step here, I can drag this up. There's my sales page after the sales page to go to the checkout. I would not add a product to my sales page because they're not checking out. They're checking out on the checkout page. So here I'll go to products. I'll click add product. I'll search my products. I'm going to select my standalone course that I created. Now notice that the product is the actual product we created. It's the actual course. The price is the offer that we created. So if we create multiple offers, they'll appear here and we'll choose which one we want to sell inside of our funnel. 
We can leave our product name completely alone and we don't need to open up additional options. We can leave that closed. We don't need to enter any price display overrides. We can just go ahead and click save. Now you can see here we have our standalone course for the amount that we set in our offer and it's a one-time product. Now we can come back to overview and we can go to edit and we can edit this in a new tab. I always like to edit in a new tab. It makes life simpler for me. Now I know that this can be daunting to see a blank page like this. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to add an element and then I'll show you some shortcuts if you're a member of Convology Plus. Now first, in order to place anything on this page, we need to have a container or a section. So we'll add a full width section and then inside of our section, we have to add a row. In this case, I'll add a, let's just do like a two column row really quickly. You can drag, this is where you can put stuff in the right column. And I'm only showing you this to get you started because if you're a Convology Plus member, I'll show you how you can shortcut this with some templates. Next, we're gonna add an element inside of that row column and we're going to add in a one step order form. By default, they turn a lot of stuff on. On the right hand side, you're gonna to wanna to come through and you're going to wanna read. Yes, read these things and customize them. You may not care about full name validation. You may not want to show the phone number. Go ahead and hide that. Go ahead and hide shipping. You can choose whether you want to enable or disable order bumps. That's a whole other video we'll go through in the future, but you get the idea. You can customize your order form here and the product that you selected in the funnel is the product that will appear here. For example, if I hit save and then I preview, you can see that my standalone course is inside of my cart here and somebody can check out. I'll leave it up to you now to customize the rest of this. Now here's a shortcut for Convology Plus members. You can click use existing and you can choose an existing layout that's already been built. If you're a member of Convology Plus, come into the resource library, go to our tutorials or our downloads, find the tutorials, for example, this evergreen uh, workshop funnel that I created, and then go ahead and download or import the funnels from your account. Super easy. We'll come back in here. Maybe I wanna copy that webinar checkout that I did that I really liked. I'll select the webinar funnel, then I'll select our checkout and I'll hit import. And now I'm just importing a template that I made. This would be you importing my template. And from here, let's go ahead and preview our page. And here we go. It imported a lot more than I needed for this particular course offer, I have a checkout I can finish customizing and I have a nice layout with my logo, a gradient background and a two column layout, you know, with some stuff I'll remove, but otherwise I can edit this content, swap out a testimonial, swap out an image, and my checkout page is that much closer to being done. Now, if someone purchases through that funnel that we just set up, here's the catch. Nothing actually happens. They'll be charged for the thing, but not given access to the thing. That's a little confusing because you would think if I'm selling a product that is a course, why don't I get the course? And if I'm selling a product that is the course via an offer price that was set up for that course, why don't I get it? I don't know, that's just the way that it is. So you have to create a very simple automation that I'm gonna show you how to do right now. We're going to go into automation workflows. We're going to create a workflow. We're going to start from scratch. You can give your workflow a name, then you're gonna add a trigger. The trigger will be order submitted. We need to filter it so that it doesn't fire on every order. And we need to choose a global product is, and we're gonna find standalone course so that it only fires when that course is purchased. If you want to add additional filters for product price, you can, but I wouldn't. I would leave it just like this. Hit save trigger. Now we can come in here and we can say offer, and we would grant a course offer for our standalone course. Hit save, that's all that you need when someone submits an order for the thing, grant access to the thing. And this automation is only needed if you use funnels. If you sell through that simple pre-built offer for sales page, so you would publish this and hit save and you're good to go. Whichever way you chose your customer, if they are a new customer, when they click the link in their email, this is my ugly <laughs> course demo page, make yours look prettier, please. Uh, but if they're a new customer, they're going to get an opportunity to select a new password. If they're an existing member and they click the login button from the email that they received, they'll be sent directly into the course. I'll go ahead and click set my password so you can see what the user experience is like for your students or your customers. Set my password, I'm immediately in now, and I can go ahead and start consuming the course. Everything worked great. Now, real quick, I did mention I wanna show you how to do bundles. You probably figured it out already. All you would do is create another offer. I'll call this my standalone course bundle offer. I'll select the products that go inside of it. Maybe I'll give access to those two and I'll make it a one time. Maybe I'll make this one 750 and I'll hit create. From here, I can walk through everything else we already walked through in the video and repeat the process to set up my bundle. 
Now, if this were an all access bundle and I wanted to continually add more content, I could come down here to included products and I could simply add another product as it becomes available. And when doing so, I get this little pop-up that says, don't give this product to existing new offer members or give this product to existing members. This would be a way to retroactively add content into your bundle or to only offer it to few, uh, future purchasers. Assuming this were an all access bundle and I'm rewarding those who joined maybe under a cheaper offer price, I would say, go ahead and give this to existing members. Um, obviously there's no one who's purchased this offer. I just created it. So I'll hit confirm and now I've added more content and I can hit save. And that's it. That's all there is to creating standalone course offers and standalone course bundle offers inside of high level without needing to use a community, without having a community learn tab, without doing anything except selling the content and giving access to it inside of your portal where your course platform resides. I have plenty more tutorials on high level and courses and communities and all that kind of stuff. I'll go ahead and link down below my high level tutorial playlist. Feel free to browse it for any additional tutorials that you'd like to see. But in the meantime, I really recommend this tutorial here where I show you how to set up a webinar funnel. It's a good one.